there guys, what's up, it is Dick Chappy here, and we are coming at you with a brand new series in Dragon Ball Xenoverse. I absolutely love this game, I intended to do, uh, intended to record my first playthrough of the game, but I ended up getting strep throat, and if you don't know what that is, it's basically the worst. And so, my voice was literally just destroyed and I couldn't do anything, so this will be my second playthrough of the game. So hopefully I'll be able to, like, go through the game a bit faster since I know what I need to do, you know? Since I know how to play the game. But seriously guys, I love this game. This game is so good. Probably my third fa- well, I don't know, it's one of my favorite Dragon Ball games. It's just kind of my favorite games is a mess of Budokai 3, Tenkaichi 3, and this. It's so good. So good. I love it. So basically the game just throws you right in there. We're just jumping straight to the fight with Frieza on dying Namek. So I mean, why just... Why take any time, you know? Oh, I missed. Frieza, stop! There we go. I really love the playstyle of this game, because it has a very Budokai 3-esque control scheme, but it's also very, uh, like, it has the Tenkaichi 3 style of 3D. I just really like it. There we go. Frieza down. He's just kind of floating there, because, I mean, can't have him fall into the lava. That's not canon. I love this game, guys. It's so good. Definitely one of the best Dragon Ball games. And it came out on everything. Like 360, PS3, Expo, and PS4. I mean, everything, really. Oh, yeah. We jump into the fight with Super Cell. Perfect Cell. Personally, Perfect Cell is my favorite of all the villains. He is my favorite. You're up already. He's pretty awesome. Oh my lord, the game is so loud. I'm gonna have to turn it down when I start recording next time. Because it just is straight up blasting in my ears. There we go. Now we're beating up on Cell. I'm already Super Saiyan. Can't go more Super Saiyan than Super Saiyan. Except for, you know, Super Saiyan 2 and Super Saiyan 3. The weird thing in this game is you can't transform. Like, beyond being able to go, like, Super Saiyan, a specific level, you can't really transform. Like, Frieza can't go into his second or third forms. You have to choose first, uh, or final, 100%. You know, stuff like that. Uh-oh. We got shenanigans happening in the Dragon Ball timeline. So basically all these are just like time fragments, just like shards of time. Uh, what would, there's a name for them. They're probably like time shard crystals or something. Basically they hold all of history's major events. Ah oh, yeah, jump into Super Saiyan right. 3 to fight Kid Boo! I better start fighting with everything I've got. I do really love how this game throws you right in there and gives you the chance to right away start fighting the battles that they know you want to fight. Obviously, you want to get straight into the fights with people like Kid Boo, Perfect Cell, all that good stuff. Alright. Uh oh. He's got that evil aura. Got evil boo. I mean, that's a bit redundant, but I mean, whatever. Uh oh. History is changing. The flow of time. Something's very odd about it. At this rate, history. No. Everything will collapse. Uh oh. That's no good. Made of a deep energy 
one summoned from a land far away. Brave warrior, now come forth. Yes, Shenron, sir. And... And... Here we are! Character creation! This is probably one of the best parts of the game. Because you have a good deal of options for creating characters. Uh, my first character was a Majin female. And I absolutely love that character. She's by far my favorite that I think I'm going to make. Mainly because I went through the story with her. Saiyans, everyone makes a Saiyan. I don't know. I don't really care about making a Saiyan. Eh. Got the Earthlings, who would include people like Yamcha, Krillin, Videl, Hercule. But I think they would also include androids, because they kind of go into that group. Got Namekians. I think Namekians are really cool, but I'm not really interested in making a Namekian character, you know? And we have Freezer Race, rather than like any kind of name given to them. Like, I know there's a theoretical name that's like Arcosians or something like that, but in this game, it's like, nah, it's the Freezer Race. He's the only one that matters. Mainly because in canon, there was only Frieza and King Cold. So this time, since I've already made a Frieza race, who was my uh, second character, and a Majin female, I think this time I'm gonna go with an Earthling. Uh, let's go male. You know what? I'm gonna try and make me. I'm gonna make the beautiful me. So I will be back to you guys when I've finished all these creation options. guys and we are back and this is dick chappy my beautiful creation of me totally accurate i had to give him this goatee because that's the only facial hair they have and i have facial hair it is my defining feature even though it's not on my avatar don't question it i don't know i thought blue and orange looked nice can't really do much to create your character first like you just change the eyes nose jaw and stuff could I change the mouth? Eh, it's part of the jaw. Alright guys, let's get on in here. Um... You know what, I'm gonna keep it balanced with this guy. Or I don't know, maybe up in... Nah, let's keep it balanced. Yeah, let's get in there. Let's go. Oh, I'm so excited to start the adventures of Dick Chappie in the Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Ah, it's exciting. Age, 850. Oh yeah, look at me. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. It's, I'm pretty sure that snake way above us. I'm pretty sure. Oh, hello Shenron. But I didn't even get to say hi. Away they go. Hello, Trunks. How are you doing? Apparently, I don't trust You're Trunks. I'm sure. I'll have to explain it all to you later. For now, let's see how much power you have. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! Calm down, there, Trunks. So I don't know if you noticed it, but the lip syncing in this game, like for the English dubbing, is really bad. Like obviously bad. Oh. Yeah, I, I know how to play, yeah. trust me. Come at me anytime. 
Oh boy, consecutive energy blasts. The greatest move. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but I gave myself the uh, Takahata 101 voice where he did uh, Team Four Stars Nappa. It's really funny that they let that get in the game, and I love it. Oh, come on. Like the little warm up is complete. Now. It's about time you Come on. I am already wailing on you, Trunks. There we go. Nice and done. I say, I'm really starting to like the way this character looks. I don't know. I'm already getting into it. I am getting into how I wish I looked. You were chosen. Chosen by Shinron. I really want one time Sorry that trick to just go awfully wrong. I'll introduce myself. I'm Trunks, and I'm currently on a mission. That's cool. As you can see, this place, it's not the world you're familiar with. Now, I'm pretty used to this, like giant cogs this in the, the sky. Toki -toki world, I'm from Steampunk the land. Of time gathers. Oh, you can solid. call us the Time Patrol. Eh. Probably would have been better if you went with the Time Force. As in the Power Ranger Time Force, because Power Rangers are the best! When history if you don't like Power course, Rangers, you're wrong. False timeline is created. You mean like the timeline you made? Any of these changes to history. But you made the biggest change in history, at least as biggest I can think of. As will fight all throughout time. Okay, I don't Sometimes know why you had this change of heart. deal with legendary fighters, or dangerous forces. What you think? I think that you Would sound you like crazy. To test your power here? See how effective it is? Absolutely. Oh, right. I should probably explain a few things first. Okay. Look around. In this space, there are many other time patrol members. Oh, I don't see like, any right now. Go ahead and talk to them. I'll hear your answer after you've had the chance.